Hello neighbor and welcome back to the Mastering PHP Image Processing Video Textbook brought to you by DevelopPHP.com. In this lesson you will learn how to assemble a very simple file upload application using basic HTML and PHP. Now here I have a basic HTML form that I'll have available for you guys to copy and paste in the description of this video. And the form is set to the action of image upload script.php. So that is where this form is going to send these variables once the submit button is pressed. So naturally we have to have a script called image upload script.php. Now the user input here is a file upload form element with the name of uploaded file. So in our PHP script called image upload script.php, we can simply look for a posted variable called uploaded file. In the PHP script, we're going to use a function called move uploaded file. And that is one of the file system functions in PHP. It's not actually part of the GD library of functions. It's part of the file system functions. And it's a very important function for PHP webmasters to know how to use. So now let's take a look at that image upload script.php. The first thing that happens is we're going to access the file's global variable for this specific file being uploaded and create local PHP variables from the file's array of information. When the person presses submit on that button, the file's array of information is sent to this PHP script and we can access it by using the global variable files, which gives us access to the whole array of information for that uploaded file, like name, the temporary file name in the PHP temp folder, the file type, size, and the error message for the file upload. So you can see I'm targeting uploaded file right there in our HTML form. That's the name right there, uploaded file. So if you name this poo poo, just change this to poo poo. And this script will also be in copy paste form at Develop PHP. In the description of this video, you'll find a link to it. All right, so we have our local PHP variables that represent the array of information that that uploaded file contains. So we can start some PHP image upload error handling here. The first thing we're going to handle is if no file was chosen. So if they press the submit button without actually browsing for a file, we're going to echo out error and exit. Else if the file size is greater than 5 megabytes, you echo out your file was larger than 5 megabytes in size. If you want to make it to where there is no cap on the size, then you can just remove that else if statement and carry on to this one. And here we unlink the temporary file that's in the PHP temp folder because at that point the upload is not going through their image was too large so we want to make sure it doesn't hang around in the temp folder so you can force removal of that image from the temp folder but just keep in mind that anything in the temp folder will get removed eventually all on its own and you don't have to do anything now the next condition is if there is no match for gif jpeg or png in the file name that means their image was not a dot gif or dot jpeg or dot png so if you wanted your php script to do error handling to check and see whether a file is a GIF, JPEG, or PNG because they might be trying to load a .bmp and you might not want that kind of file. If you want it, then just add it here with these. Then finally, else if the file error message equals 1, that means true, there is an error with the file upload. Then you can just echo out an error occurred while processing the file, try again, and then exit the script. Now, we end PHP image upload error handling here. That means all the error handling is done at that point. So if everything checks out okay at that point, you can then use the move uploaded file function to move the file from the temporary location in the temp folder to its new home. So here I am on my server. I have image upload script.php and my file.php. My file has the form and here's my uploader script. I'm just going to create a new directory right here and call it uploads. And by default, I think it'll have a 0755 chmod setting the file attributes. That way it will allow an image upload to go into it. Now when you're using move uploaded file, there's something called a php.ini file on your server that configures your PHP installation. And most of the time, by default, it's set to 2 megabytes. That's the file size limit that can be uploaded to your server. You can go into your php.ini file and change that to whatever file size you want so you don't have that 2 megabyte maximum limit on your uploads. Or you can use any underscore set functions within PHP. That's INI underscore set functions that will help you 
set PHP configurations right within your upload scripts if you need to do that if you don't have access to the PHP any configuration file on your server. Some people don't have access to that PHP any configuration file so they have to use the any underscore set functions within PHP to set those kind of configurations directly within their PHP scripts. Sorry I have to talk so much but some people might run into that problem and I don't want a whole lot of questions from this series so I'm trying to cover all the bases because a lot of people will run into that 2 megabyte max limit and they'll be like why am my picture going to my folder It's 3 megabytes because it's 3 megabytes and your limit set to 2 megabytes that's why so now they won't have that question they won't have that problem because they'll set their any configurations if they want to upload something bigger than 2 megabytes jeez alright so what we do is we put the move uploaded file function into a variable called move result because the move uploaded file function is going to return a value of either true or false. It will return true if it actually moves that uploaded file. It will return false if it fails to. We're moving the uploaded file, which is temporarily living in the PHP temp folder, to its to its new destination on the server, which is in my uploads folder, and we keep its original file name. If you wanted to rename it, that's where you would rename it right there. You can call it poopoo.jpg if you want or you can just keep the original name that it had upon upload and that's what we're gonna do here so now that we know move uploaded file returns a result of either true or false we can make an evaluation saying if move result is not equal to true some kinda of error happened unlink the file from the temp folder and exit the script now if move result is equal to true the script will keep running so the first thing we'll do is unlink the file from the temporary folder because move uploaded file already put it into its new home here. So you can force removal of the file from the temporary folder since it's not needed anymore. And then display some things to yourself so you can see what's happening for testing purposes. Now you have a PHP file upload application that you've created. Now we can move forward with showing people how to resize on the fly, crop on the fly, watermark, and everything like that. Because now we're at the point where most webmasters are when they allow upload. They have a PHP script that uses move uploaded file to put a file that somebody's uploading on their server. Now we can move forward with advanced topics using the GD library. In the next lesson, we're going to jump right on resizing because that's probably the most popular thing that a webmaster would want to know how to do when they begin with PHP scripting is learning how to make somebody's huge image that they're uploading nice and small and manageable for the website. So you just go to myfile.php with your browser and you'll see your little form sitting there, your basic HTML form. You choose the file that you want. And in this case, I have a picture here called my picture. It's a JPEG file and it's really big. It's 1.24 megabytes. And you can see the dimensions on it there. So I'm going to upload that one. And I just have to prove to you guys that the script is working because I know a lot of people are going to have problems because always a lot of people have problems. I don't know why. Maybe they grab my script and they remove a very important semicolon or dot somewhere. I don't know what the hell is going on, but some people have problems with my scripts, and I just want to prove that I'm on a regular PHP server with a regular PHP installation, PHP 5.0, and everything works just fine. All right, I'm going to press upload it. You can see that Chrome gives you a nice upload progress percent down there at the bottom. You see that? Pretty nice, huh? And that nice little round cool thing. Actually, that might be Windows. Yeah, I think that's Windows. I don't know who's doing that, but anyways. All right, so there you go. The file name mypicture.jpg was uploaded successfully. It is 1,309,812 bytes in size. It is image JPEG type of file. And the error message output for this upload is zero. It means false. That means it worked. Now, now you go to your server. You look in your uploads folder. Hey, what do you know? There's mypicture.jpg uploaded all on its own. And you can check your uploads folder's file attributes. See mine? Set to 755. That's good enough to allow upload for me. Okay, cancel that. So now that we have this laid out and everybody has their hands on it, we can all move forward with the more advanced topics like resizing, cropping, watermarking, all that good stuff.